All right, let's go to crude oil. There's only two types of markets we deal with. The market can only do two things. It's not very difficult to understand. Either we're trending or we're chopping. That's it. I don't care what you trade. Futures, Forex, stocks, currency, ETFs, OEX options. doesn't matter what you trade. It's either trending or it's chopping. What we have to establish is we have to establish our trend chart. We have a what's called a Rinko bar. It has a trend filter built into it. It's not, not like any other Rinko bar that you're going to experience. It's our longest Rinko bar, nine. What we want to do is we want to see if we're trending. Are we chopping or are we trending? The best way to do it is look at your longer MA on the Rinko bar. If it's angled down, we are trending. If it's angled down, we are trending. I don't have my smaller MA on here, but there's a smaller MA that rode these arrows down yesterday. There's three of them on here. If you're below all three, you're in the hardest trend there is in the market. You want to take all arrows off the five and three Simrinko with trend. Now, here's how you can time it. If we're trending down, I want you to start watching the five Simrinko bar with the symmetry dots. I, I did a video yesterday. Look at yesterday's video. Look at August the 15th. And I'll show you how we traded off symmetry dots yesterday, how you, how, how, how you trade them. I did a whole separate video on that. And how you trade the three sim arrow also. Look at 815 video, and I'll show you how to, exactly how to trade the five and the three. Because the five is with the nine sim trend, but we're trying to trade off symmetry dots with arrows and resistance. We're also trying to wait for it to break symmetry, and then we'll trade off the three sim. We only trade off the three sim if it breaks five sim symmetry. And I did a video on that. I don't want to do another 20-minute video on it because you can just review it yesterday. So please, if you want to learn how to trade trend, I want to go more chop here today, go over how to trade it. If you want to learn how to trade trend off the five and three with the nine sim trend, play August 15th video that Gerald posted under daytradingthefutures.com daytradingthefutures.com, and it will sum up yesterday's trading. I gave heads up yesterday that we're going back. We're going to break out a chop into trend. We had over $400 trade on both markets, hit both of our targets way before it happened, and I'll show you how we did it. Okay. What you want to do in trend two is you can trade off the blue market profile, the most volume that's traded. What that means my market profile chart is here. You can trade off this level right here, this blue line, because gold was in an uptrend. It likes to come down to the most volume that's traded, which is right here. It likes to test it, especially on the first test. It likes to explode. These are my market profile levels. So make sure that you do not trade this in chop, but you can trade it in trend. It works great in trend for continuations. You cannot trade this blue line in chop. If you are chopping in sideways like we are this morning, let's look at the chop market. How do you trade it? The other type of market we deal with is chop. If you look at the magenta MA, we're sideways right now. So if you're trading the range, you can trade the range on chop market. What you can do is trade with market profile. You sell the HVA, the red, and buy the LVA, the green. No blue line trades. Sell the high, buy the low on the first and second test. Then what we're going to do is watch for the breakout of profile, and we go back into trend. Then resume FIB arrows. We do not take any arrows in chop. Those are FIB retracement arrows. We take all FIB retracement arrows in trend like this. All FIB retracement arrows that qualify with the 5 and 3 in, in, with trend. We do not trade arrows if we are sideways until we break out. Break outside of HV and LVA, then we get back and resume our arrow fib, fib base retracement arrows. And that's how we did it yesterday, and we nailed it. So please review yesterday's video. It's only two markets you're going to experience. We're either trending or chop. It's very easy. If we're trending, the nine sims trending down, you're below the MAs, watch the five sim symmetry dots. Where are they located? 
If you come within two ticks of them, watch for the arrows to fire on a retracement. If the market doesn't retrace and it's too weak, fine. Break through my symmetry dots like the video I showed you yesterday, and that's what I was anticipating. I gave you guys a big heads up on both markets to watch for it. It broke. Then you watch the three sim. If it's not going to retrace the symmetry dots, that's fine. Then break them. Break below them with trend. And then look for the three sim to fire the first arrow, and we nailed it yesterday just like right now on gold. So if you look at gold, this is a great example how we're breaking through symmetry. So we break through symmetry. If we break through symmetry, you get it, if the first arrow trades the best. I prefer it right here. A lot of times the arrow will fire right there because we broke through symmetry dots. Then you get the retracement. But this is a great example of how we traded yesterday. We broke through symmetry. There's an the arrow. There you go. So you look for similarly the same thing here this morning, trying to get outside of CHOP. 